Tony Smith and Andrew Voermann last updated 11.57, August 28, 2017 Kiwi striker Chris Wood scores Burnley's equaliser in a 11 draw with Tottenham Hotspur at Wembley Stadium. Kiwi football great Winton Rufa believes Chris Wood's rise to English Premier League stardom could help the All-Whites to beat South American opposition and qualify for the next World Cup finals. Wood netted in stoppage time to earn Burnley a 11 draw with Tottenham Hotspur at Wembley Stadium on Sunday Monday NZ time. His first goal for the Lancashire club has been hailed by Rufa and former All-Whites coach Ricky Herbert. The ball nestles in the back of Spurs net with Chris Wood wheeling away in delight. Rufa is in South Korea with his winner's football school squad, but was delighted to learn Wood had netted in his first EPL game since his record $26.4 million transfer from Leeds United. Read more Wood scores at Wembley in dream debut for Burnley Fickle fans turn on Wood after stinker debut injured Reed out of NZ's World Cup qualifiers Chris Wood's busy Burnley debut to come on when they were down 10 and score at Wembley and get a 11 draw, that's unbelievable, it's just sensational. Chris Wood attempts to take the ball around Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper and captain Hugo Loris. Roof for voted Oceania Player of the Century was the last New Zealander to score goals in one of the world's biggest leagues when he netted 59 times in the German Bundesliga in 174 games for Werder Bremen between 1989 and 1995. Wood was part of his winner's programme as a youngster with Roof equipping we tried to convert him into a goalkeeper, and Roof has proudly followed his former charges' progress in the professional game. He hoped the confidence Wood has gained from his EPL rise will flow through to the All-Whites when he returns to national duty this week for two World Cup qualifying games against the Solomon Islands. Ricky Herbert L with Chris Wood 20 after an All-Whites game against Paraguay in Wellington in 2010. You can't underestimate the Solomons, but hopefully we get through that lot and then it's possible to go through the South American Intercontinental Playoff. If you've got Chris Wood fit and ready and West Ham EPL defender Winston Reid at the back, you can beat the South Americans, it's possible. Rufus said former Blackburn Rovers EPL captain Ryan Nelson had lifted the All-Whites to another level as they qualified for the 2010 FIFA World Cup Finals in South Africa. Now, with Winston and Chris Wood, they will have two Ryans. The top Oceania team likely to be the All-Whites will play the fifth-place nation from the South American Confederation in a home-and-away playoff for a place in the 2018 World Cup Finals in Russia. Argentina led by Barcelona star Lionel Messi are currently fifth. Asked if Wood and Reed could lead the All-Whites to a series win over Argentina, Rufa quipped maybe, if Messi doesn't play. Rufa said Wood's rise should be celebrated by the New Zealand football community. He said rugby was a big culture in New Zealand, and rightly so with the All Blacks a big name, worldwide. It would take New Zealand football 20 to 30 years of five Chris Wood scoring goals in the Premier League to compete with that. But I sent it brilliant that we are talking about Chris Wood scoring a goal at Wembley in his first game for Burnley. Rufa said Wood was a great lad with lovely supportive parents. The pair often laugh about Rufa's attempt to turn him into a keeper as a 12-year on a WYNR's tour of Japan. Wood went in goal after the WYNR's side lost 120 and was absolutely brilliant during a 40 defeat in the next match. Fortunately, for Wood and New Zealand football, the youngster set his sights on becoming a striker. Herbert, who gave Wood his all-whites debut as a 17-year-old in 2009, said the Wembley goal was a testament to Wood's perseverance, and that it was great to see him taking the next step with his career. Chris has always been very dedicated and patient through the years at different clubs and HES got his chance now, and what a stage to get his opening EPL goal for Burnley on. Being in the position to put the ball in the back of the net at vital times has become quite a trademark for him and that's to be applauded. I look back to 2010 when he was such a young player at the World Cup, and he came on and nearly scored a winner against Italy. HE's had that confidence and that belief and it's great to see goals coming early in his Burnley career. Herbert said it would be great for New Zealand to have a player in the Premier League who could offer something at the attacking end of the pitch. 
We've had fantastic players like Winston Reed and Ryan Nelson from a defensive perspective representing us in the EPL for the last 12 or so years, and now with Chris doing that at the other end of the pitch, it adds another dimension to what New Zealand players are achieving abroad. I think the public should be excited about having him back and looking forward to seeing him on Friday in the World Cup qualifier against the Solomon Islands in Auckland.